What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here, back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? Today, we're coming at you with something different. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the sound hole Humitar by Music Nomad MN300. There's a bunch of different models for guitar and ukulele. Got it? So, I'm going to open it up right in front of you. It's really simple. Not much to explain here. Only dummies won't know how to use this, you know what I mean? You get the sponge, which is not the same as the one that you uh, might clean dishes with. It absorbs way more water, and it's small. Here's the case for it. We ain't gonna be using this right now. See, this is how you check if the um, sponge is dry, or you need to fill it up. Like, it's, you need to fill it up if it's dry, or if it's okay. So you see soft is wet and hard is need to re-wet. It says use distilled water. But let's not bullshit guys. We know no one ain't buying distilled water and all the time. They said it the sponge might get moldy and shit, but honestly, this thing ain't that expensive. Alright. This one was roughly $14.99. You can get it for $9.99 sometimes. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open this shit up, right? Open this shit up. The knife of the day, you know, this is a knife channel. Don't be mistaken. Casa Gemini. You know what I mean? So here we go. We're opening this thing up. I hope you guys know how to use a knife safely. Pardon me if you hear noises. Someone hungry. Need to go in the fridge. All right. So you're going to need a little bucket because you got to soak this for a few minutes. And you ain't gonna hold this in running water. And no, I'm not using tap water. I got a fancy reverse osmosis system there. So we're gonna use the filtered water right here. I'm gonna put the sponge in there. And I'm gonna in uh, fill it up until, you know, it got way too much water for it to absorb. That sponge ain't gonna absorb it all. All right, I'm just gonna set this aside right here. Like this. And I'll get back at you when that part is done. We back. This thing been soaking for about five minutes now. They said if you want to speed up the process, you just gotta uh, massage out the hard parts. You know what I mean? And it's nice and soft all around. Like a lot of nice things in life. Anyways, you can see over here humidity, 36% in the room. All right, 60 degrees in the room. For a guitar, you want it to be roughly 40 to 55 percent humidity, 45 or 50, 45 to 55. People like to say also, but somewhere in that ballpark is fine. I mean, it's forgiving a little bit. You got a little bit of a range. This thing real, real soggy. All right, this thing's soggy. So we about to put this thing in right now. Boop. Open up. All right. They say take it out. And uh, don't put it in there like a dripping ass wet dog. Oh, I'm sorry for my language. <laughs> they say squeeze a little bit of the excess water out, which I just did right there. All right. And then put this into the case. Curved edge for the curved bottom. Remember that, guys. I shouldn't have to tell you guys, but I know some people ain't that bright. So let's go over to our fancy guitar here's our fancy guitar and I mean I know this is a knife channel guys don't be mistaken I'm sorry if you subscribe and you're here for the knives and gear but I'm showing you things that are built well and I know this thing built well I right? it's dripping a little bit gonna wipe off the some of that water on the outside and uh, what they actually recommend is to put place this between the strings you know what i mean and honestly i'll show you the picture right here if you were going to place it between the strings i right, you you're going to want to put it like right between here these two in the middle and let it sit but look take a look at that guys i don't know if you can see that does that look good to you if it was resting like that for all its life? No, hell no. So 
right? It's complaining. So we ain't going to do that. We're going to show you something different here, all right? Let me move the camera over. So there's a lot of places you can put this. You can actually place this inside here on your box. You can place it over here, just flying around, which should be fine actually, because it's not dripping anymore. Or you can place it there. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna place it right here. And that won't wiggle around too much because the guitar is holding it. You see, there's not much wiggle room here. It's just wiggling like this. It's not going to fall down. Put it there, guys, because if you put it between the strings, you're always going to be stretching it out and don't want to mess with the strings too much. You know what I mean? So keep it on the side or you can put it in your little compartment where you put a lot of your junk. You can put anything in there, honestly. But no, we're going to keep it like this. Humidifiers like this, humidifiers or whatever, the best place to keep it inside of is a hard case. It, in soft cases, it will work also. However, it will dry out faster, you know what I mean? So I know I'm putting it in here today. I gotta remember in about 10 days, I should come check this thing. Let's see what the box says. So it says we should check this thing. Let's see. Okay, I don't see where it's supposed to check how often, but uh, it ain't matter, right? Just check it like once a week. You should be good. This thing not gonna dry up inside that box. Yeah, so it don't say. It's fine. Check it every five to seven days, you'll be good. That's the rough estimate for most of them anyway. So I keep it shut in here. Like I said, soft cases, it's gonna dry out the sponge faster. They work best in hard cases like this. Know what I mean? And uh, yeah, this should get the humidity inside the box up to 55%. If you want to, you can take the um, your monitor, right? Let me get around the camera. Take the monitor. Oh God, is this thing open? No, it's not. Gonna take this, and I'm gonna put it right in here. And I'm gonna close the box. And that's how you can keep an eye on your humidity on your nice laminate or hardwood instrument. This would go the same for ukuleles or guitars. It doesn't matter. This is a nice gator case, as you can see, high quality like everything else on the channel. Anyways, that's all guys. After this, remember, if you touch the sponge and it's hard, you need to put more water in it and uh, keep checking on it. You know, it's almost like feeding a baby. Feeding a baby. Anyways, I don't want to get this video over five minutes. It's way over five minutes. Just this part was five minutes. But uh, yeah, I hope this helped you guys figure out how to use your humitar in your hard case. Remember, if you put this thing in your um, guitar and you don't have a case at all, that thing gonna be dry in one day. It don't work like that. In an open room, you gotta get a humidifier, room humidifier for one room. Keep that door shut too, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is good for cold climates, places that are dry, places that are using a lot of forced air, furnace, air condition. Keep your stuff wet wood dries up and it shrinks when it expands it gets um expands you know when it shrinks when it's cold and um, dry when it gets cold and i mean uh, warm and humid it expands you don't want that process to just keep happening you want it to be nice and stable nice and stable environment that's how you take care of a baby anyways Please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like how I explained how to use the humitar. You know, it don't matter. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at TimZUSA. Send me a message. Let me know you found me from YouTube. I'll be honored. Anyways, until next time, Tim Z out.